Art is the expression of ideas and emotion through physical medium like painting, sculpture, film, dance, writing, photography, or theater. If you love the creative process, maybe you'll devote your life to art because art is constantly changing and evolving to include different types of activity. And the question, what is art? has been discussed for thousands of years. And some people believe that art is that time to create beautiful objects, while others call art all of the works that appear in the gallery or museum, whether beautiful or ugly. Art can also, art can also mean a specific skill that you've learned like art of baking a delicious pie. So that's art. So, marahay na hapon sa Indong Gabos, maayo na hapon, magandang hapon, good afternoon to all viewers. I am Brian Danao Lopez, but you can call me Jens, and I am delighted to become your host for this afternoon. So, get ready, fasten your seatbelt, and keep your arts in the locality learning connected. This webinar, this webinar will deepen your understanding of arts, including some techniques and stories that can be shared in your future art, um, in your future artwork. This session also is available in our iLab apps, which you can download in a Google Play or app stores. So without further ado, to start our first session, wala na tayong patumpik-tumpik pa, may we call in Miss Pearlie, Ms. Perley, to introduce our first speaker. Ma'am Perley. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. So it is such an honor to introduce our first um, speaker for this afternoon. So our first speaker is a writer and an English and literature teacher. Many of her works have been published in anthologies both in print and online, including stories for children. As a member of the Parasurat Bicol Non Incorporated, an organization of Bicol writers, artists, and cultural workers, her poetry, chapbook, Panguturugan, Panguturugan, which means Dream, was released in October 2020 as part of its writer series. She co-founded and has served as artistic director and chief playwright at Teatro Regayano, a community theater based a community theater based community theater based at the Ragay National Agricultural and Fisher School in Camarini Sur since 20, 2015. So let us give our virtual claps to, to Miss Aileen Medea. Thank you very much, Mom Perlene. Marhay na hapon po sa Tuya Gagos. Thank you very much, Sir James my fellow speaker and one of the founders and the, and the pillars of I Love Aral uh, to help me in sharing my slides for the presentation. Let me start with a quote from Ms. Alma Quinto on public spaces as community dialogue uh, during the launch of Espacion Bayan. It is a community art exhibit by 30 artists happening now at Artists Incorporated Center, Los Banos, Laguna. She said that we need our comfort zone, but we should get out of it to create zones of comfort for others. The context of this talk, Art and Diversity, is thinking global, but acting, glo but acting local. Art in our own contexts as individuals and as communities. 
So the first slide will be giving us the, the definition of artistic diversity. Uh, the second, the, the next slide, please. So what is artistic diversity? It is the quality or state of having many different forms of arts, types, or ideas. Because we are as diverse as individuals and we have diverse cultures and art expressions are also going to be diverse. It is the idea of everyone and everything coming in different shapes, forms, and sizes. So art is one of the most diverse creative outlets and it's so we can do it in a lot of forms. And as we all know, we have basic or traditional forms of art, but it has, it has all these seven forms of arts have evolved uh, throughout the years. The next slide will introduce us to artistic expressions. So what is artistic expression? It is the conscious use conscious use of the imagination into production of objects intended to be contemplated or appreciated as beautiful as in the arrangement of forms, sounds, or words. Individual artists has his own concept of what is beautiful and what is relevant. So if we are going to collect all this, there will be a kaleidoscope of artistic expressions, myriad expressions, because we are, as stated a while ago, we are as diverse as there are many stars in the sky. Next, please. So the next slide will be introducing us to the importance of art in diversity. Why is it that we have to welcome diverse expressions of art? Because we have different cultures and each culture is unique. And also art is a universal language. So it is a vessel to share stories, to bring awareness and celebrate all cultures. It also leads to acceptance, especially now that every, every individual is struggling to be heard to be accepted and to be appreciated and celebrated. Next, please. The next slide will be also talking us, talking about the importance of engaging in artistic expressions. We have heard time and again that during the pandemic, art has been very important and and helping us get through individual and communal struggles because artistic expressions can help to alleviate feelings of psychological distress, such as depression and anxiety. It has also been linked to improving memory, reasoning, and resilience. I have talked to some of my friends who are artists and are, who are also creatives. And they have admitted that art forms have helped them survive the pandemic experience because art is very helpful also in maintaining mental health and wellness. Next, please. The next slide will be talking about the bringing different cultures together because art binds. Culture generates special capital and it strengthens a community's character. It can talk about the hopes, the aspirations, but the histories of a group of people. So through its capacity to tell a community's shared story and to inspire reflection, form connections and transcend differences, Art is a very powerful tool in the world. Next, please. Uh, this, is, this is a clip of the Espacio Bayan Communities 
exhibit I have mentioned a while ago. It is available for viewing at the Artist Incorporated Center at Los Banos Laguna, as also a tie up to the 17th Tanghal Festival. The 17th Tanghal Festival is performance series from universities and colleges and community-based theaters from Luzon, Visayas, and Pintanao. And Teatro Ragayano is one of the participating theater groups there. Next, please. So the next slide, we'll be talking about traditional cultural expressions. We have heard a lot of oral stories and histories. These are called also expressions of folklore. We are familiar with our traditional music, dance, art, designs, names, signs, and symbols, performances, ceremonies or rituals, architectural forms, handicrafts, and narratives. One of these is the Bicol's very own pantomina, which is considered to be a wedding dance. We have also a lot of rituals for the harvest and also for planting as practiced by our forefathers. And some of the com communities are still practicing them nowadays. For handicrafts, uh, we have also tied those crafts by women specifically, which can also augment family income. Uh, we call these uh, income generating projects of the women, mga nanay at mga guardians na mga kababaihan. And these are all types in our narratives. Thank you, please. Another next slide. I believe the next slide will be a showing of Augustus Washington, who was the, pioneered, the pioneering influence in African-American photography. I just would like to show the viewers that all over the world, art, enthusiasts and art practitioners are really doing their best so that their art will be sent across across the globe all over the world. Next please. For indigenous cultural expressions, it is mentioning the ways in which indigenous communities express their traditional culture. They have started, they are continuing, and they, have, they are not going to stop in the ways that are part of their heritage or identity or ways that are passed down from generation to generation. Happening also today is the art exhibit about the Mangyan people. And I have also clipped the, the Facebook post of one of my mentors in art. And it is in the next slide. So it is from Sir Bad's Magzumbol. It is about the art exhibit in Balay Mindoro, by Balay Mindoro Artists Group, focusing on the cultures and the arts of the Mangyan group of people. Next, please. So for culturally, contemporary cultural expressions. They, they, they are emerging art forms and they are influenced by the customs and norms of particular society. This artwork reflects upon and upholds the objects, ideas, and customs that that particular society values. So we, there is really a call for, for welcoming, accepting, appreciating, and learning from these different forms of art in our contemporary times. Next, please. Okay, I have captured it, Art for History. Another clip from Artist Incorporated. According to Sir Bonifacio P. Iladan, history is our birthright. Kailangan nating bawiin ang kasaysayan at Ituwid kung anuman ang mga pagtatangka na pagbabago nito sa pamamagitan ng paglikha ng mga akdang sining para sa taong bayan. So, with everything, with everything that is happening, we have to use our art and our crafts 
so that we will be contributing to strengthen our history as a people. Next, please. So for the Bicol Front, these are the different art forms. We have started this even before our colonial, uh, colonial contemporaries. So even before the foreign foreigner came, we have this tigsit, the oral form, osipon, sai sai, rawit dawit, equivalent of poetry, and then the novella. Also, we have this kurit, and then sculpture, installation art, and ar architecture forms. We have the songs or kanshon. We have the baile and street dancing during festivals. Uh, the Bicol Cha Cha is still very popular. The Bicol Square Dance. We have also the Pas Dula in Pasali, the theater performances, and of course, Pelicola. And, and uh, the animation is also part of movies nowadays. We have the photography, we have handicrafts and food crafts. So, so cooking or baking is considered also arts, uh, they belong to the food crafts. We also have the blogs in the written form and the blog in the video and audiovisual form. So all these are also part of what I have started a while ago that we are thinking global, but we are acting and performing local. So we are expressing our personalities, and are being part of a community and using our own context so that we are going to develop diversity in art. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you so much, Mom, for that very insightful discussion with us. So it is really art is a universal language and um, to share that art also helped me. Um, it became my coping mechanism during the pandemic. I say, you know, talaga pandemic. It was really stressing. It was suffocating. So I have um, dedicated my time, some of my time, to write poems, um, short stories. Ganyan yung pang ginawa ko noong pandemic. And ngayon ko lang po na na real um, na lamay na. Yung Tigsik pala, kasi Tigsik was introduced to us by our senior high school teacher. He is a grad um, he he graduated at Bicol University. So sa aming piling larang po, pinagawa niya kami ng Tigsik. And I just found out na Tigsik pala is from Bicol. So it just made my heart happy na yeah. knowing that this kind of this kind of um literary art is came from Bicol Peninsula. So I'm just proud to write Tigsik. Siguro I can share my Tigsik na lang siguro later. Char! <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom, for that very insightful um, discussion. So marami pa sana akong isi-share. <laughs> Pero later na lang po siguro sa open forum. So siguro yung ating mga viewers ngayon, maraming yung mga artists natin from the local, siguro maraming, marami talaga silang um, natutunan sa discussion ni Ma'am kasi ako talaga, ako, marami akong natutunan kan Ma'am. <laughs> Maraming mga part ng history na nalaman ko through the discussion of Ma'am Eileen. Thank you so much, Ma'am. Salamat po sa discussion. Ayan. So, we just finished our first discussion. So, ngayon, wala na tayong patumpik-tumpik pa. Let's proceed to our second speaker. And to introduce our second speaker, may we call in once again, Mom Pearly. Mom Pearly. Again, good afternoon, everyone. So um, since we're done already with the first session, I guess it's now time to introduce another speaker for this session. So our second speaker, is an assistant professor too and has been teaching language and literature courses since 2010. He serves as the Interna International Relations Officer 
and the chair of the Bachelor of Secondary Education and Bachelor of Elementary Education programs at the Central Bicol State University of Agriculture, Calabanga. He graduated with a Bachelor of Secondary Education with a major in English from Ateneo de Naga University. He also earned his master's degree in Master of Arts in Education with a major in English and language at the same school in 2015. He is also a member of Parasurat Bicolnon, Kabuli Bicol, and the Writer's Project. He was also a language and content editor of the learning modules of the Department of Education from 2018 to 2019 and served as a Bicol translator while at the same time being a language and content editor for Let's Read Philippines. He has also published works including others Oda sa Tadik 2010, published under the Ubud series by the National Commission for the Arts or NCAA, Lobo 2012, published by Salabai Press and Bicol University College of Arts and Letters, and Padangan, published by Parasurat Bicol Non Series in 2020. He also won in the poetry category at the Premio Thomas para sa Literaturang Bicol Non for his poetry collection, Pagbuunag ng Paroy, as in Iba Pang Rawit Dawit in 2008. And his novel, Journal Entries, won the Validor Award for Bicol Novel, Twin Century X822, in 2019. The local government of Calabanga awarded him the Gawad Parangal sa Alagad ng Sining for contributing to the growth and sustainable development of local culture and arts in Calabanga, Camarini Sur, Bicol, Philippines. So let us give our hands to no other than Mr. Jerome M. Hippolito. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so for this afternoon, I'll be discussing five points. So we'll start immediately. Um, the first point that I would like to discuss is seeing or pakiling. So seeing uh, is important for both uh, visual arts and literature, you know, painting, be it painting, be it drawing, sketching, and of course, writing poetry or fiction or a novel. So back at seeing, why do I have to start with seeing? Why do I wish to start uh, with seeing uh, the eyes as the metaphor? So because... Um, that's the entry point for uh, appreciating the arts, be it visual or literary. It's the art of seeing. So seeing comes before the words. So may nahihiling mo, may nahihiling mo na kita bago kita nakapag, nakapagtataram. Uh, may mga nakikita muna tayo mga bagay-bagay bago natin nabibigyang uh, kahulugan ang mga bagay na ito sa pamamagitan ng, ng mga salita. So, it, it's uh, uh, the, the, the way we sense the world is first uh, through our eyes. Seeing. Seeing comes before the words. Seeing establishes our uh, place in the world. So, because uh, of seeing, we are actually establishing our presence uh, in, in this world. So there's a relationship of what we see and what we know. So the, uh, because, because of what we see and what we know, there is understanding, there is meaning. That, that's our meaning making, okay? What we see is affected by what we know. So uh, uh, we, can, we only see things that we, we know about. So we only see what we look at. So we're able to see because we are looking at at, uh, at a certain thing to to look is actually an act of a choice so it's an act of choice so that is why we're able to look at a certain thing because we choose to look at it and because of that we're able to see it so uh, let's say for example there are times that we can only appreciate a certain art form when we're looking really looking really at that particular art so um we, there sh there should be a, a there's a, an important ingredient to ap really appreciate a work of art is a uh, focus no you have to really look at the art form you really have to see the art form the eyes of the other and then we combine the eyes of the other with our own eyes uh that that is a dialogue 
So the eyes of the artist or the eyes of the writer and then the eyes of the of the viewer or the appreciator of or the audience or the reader once combined there is this dialogue and this dialogue is very much magical because with this dialogue the the way the the artists and the writers and the way the readers and the oceans uh see uh, art then the, there there is dialogue when when there is dialogue there is understanding there there is appreciation of the art um so therefore, uh, th this com combining combining the the uh, the seeing of the artist and the writer and the eyes of the viewers or the audience or the readers make it fully credible that we are part of the visual world. So we we, we can only appreciate uh, us being in the in the physical world only when uh, there's a meeting between the the eyes of the of the artist and the eyes of the audience. And often the dialogue is an attempt to verbalize this. So uh, because of the meeting between the seeing of the, the producer of the art and the consumer of the art, there is this dialogue. And because of that, there's, uh, uh, there's uh, things are verbalized na, na, na isasabi ang ang kagandahan, ang appreciation ng isang ng, ng isang art, ng isang scene. An attempt to explain how metaphorically or literally you see things and an attempt to discover how to see uh, how to see things. So therefore, ano ang imahe? What is an image? What is an art? What what is a work of art? What is a painting? So the painting is a sight, isa itong bagay na nakikita, which has been uh, recreator, recreated or reproduced. So yung image o yung painting natin o yung drawing natin is a, is a production or recreation of something that uh, is existence in the world. So yung drawing ay a representation lamang ng isang bagay na nasa mundo or nasa imahinasyon, di ba? So that's an image. Every art embodies a way of seeing. So art, therefore, embodies a way of seeing, as usually by the artist. And uh, when you are able to appreciate no, the, the, the art form, you are actually also appreciating how the artist sees things or sees the world. So the first uh, important ingredient to appreciate art form, be it uh, literary or be it visual, is CE. Yung, uh, yung, pag, uh, yung tingin, yung paningin, o yung paghiling. The second one that we have to uh, uh, be careful about is taste. No? Yung panglasa, yung taste. No? Uh, yung taste natin is uh, a test for the art. Paano mo malalaman ng maganda ang isang art? Paano mo malalaman ng maganda ang isang panulat? Kung makapag, uh, kung um, uh, ano ba ito, uh, uh, papasaba ito sa panlasa no? ng manunood o ng mambabasa o ng, uh, ng audience ng art. Our taste determines what is beautiful for us. So ang, ang panlasa natin ang nagsasabi kung maganda ba o hindi maganda yung nakikita natin o yung nakikita ng mata natin. Ang panglasa natin ang tumutukoy kung ang isang art o ang isang sulatin ay maganda ba o hindi. Kaya ganun na lang ang halaga ng panglasa natin. So we have to develop that. But how do we develop taste? How do we develop panglasa? Taste is something that is developed only when we engross ourselves with a certain art form. So kung gusto mong um, mas uh, ta tataas yung panlasa natin, we, we, if we wanted to uh, elevate our, our taste of, of art, of a certain art form, then we have to experience more that particular art form. We have to do more uh, that particular art form. Kung gusto mong maging uh, magaling na... Uh, then you have, I think, to read more books 
para mas malalaman mo kung ano yung magandang pandat sa hindi masyadong maganda o kung paano ba uh, paano ba uh, naisusulat ang isang maganda let's say for example novel or a short story o paano ba ginagawa ang isang magandang art so so therefore ma may elevate natin yung panlasa natin only when we are uh, in a way um uh, 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 ano tawag natin dito grounded with that kind of uh, of art so kung gusto mong uh, kung gusto mong um, uh, malaman kung ano yung maganda then you have to develop your taste you have to develop yung panlasa mo third is involvement Ma- mahalagang uh, salita yung involvement so uh, as as a human person we have to be involved be involved be engaged no so we are social beings so humans uh humans are able to appreciate the art because humans are basically social so social being tayo kailangan niya natin yung pakikipagkapwa and sa pamamaraan ng pakikipagkapwa we're able to uh, you know develop in us yung mga bagay na um uh, magagamit natin when we are faced with with the art So, bakit bakit na appreciate natin yung art dahil na appreciate natin kung paano gumagalaw yung mundo. So, how do we be how can we be more involved? I think the challenge is that we have to volunteer. Kailan ba tayo naging kailan ba tayo huling nag-volunteer sa isang bagay that is very much important. So, volunteerism is important. When was the last time we volunteered for a particular um, activity? The world needs more volunteers nowadays no. Uh sa so mga nangyayari sa paligid no you have to volunteer uh, uh to be active uh, uh involved uh, to things that are happening around us. Makikita mo ang art ng mundo kapag you are involved uh sa isang bagay sa community mo o sa lipunan, makikita mo yung art ng mundo. yung art ng napaka-real, yung art ng napaka-tunay, napaka-totoo, napaka-ganda. Maganda ang mundo. When uh, malalaman natin ang maganda yung mundo, only when we are involved, only when we are engaged with uh, the surroundings. So therefore, um, I think the challenge for the app for this particular afternoon is that we have to be involved, be volunteers. Uh, like for example, be uh, involved uh, uh Um, uh, by, by fighting uh, the victims of social injustices or work towards the greater causes in social development or advance opportunities for inclusiveness and empower the marginalized or yung hindi napakikinggan o hi, hi, walang boses sa lipunan. No? Um, or better yet, because uh, this is uh, Art Month, no? February, develop a deeper appreciation of the arts. or of the local music or the costume costume and tradition of let's say of kalabanga especially uh especially the art form of the locality uh so that's uh that's involvement no so the third uh important uh, word let's move to the fourth no so that is human tao tao No, sino ba ang nakaka-appreciate ng art yung tao? Wala namang tayo na nakapag-appreciate ng art. So, sa importante ingredient sa pag-appreciate ng art ay yung human. May mundo, may mga bagay, may mga pangyayari, may panahon, may oras dahil may tao. Gumaganda ang isang lugar dahil sa tao. Dahil, bakit natin sinasabi that, uh, let's say for example, Naga City, is the heart of Pico. It's not really because of the place or Plaza Rizal, but actually of the people, no? of the of the of the people of Naga. Let's say for example, bakit laging gusto ng mga priest, no, uh, na bumalik bilang um uh, kura ng uh, our, our Lady of La Porterie. Bakit gusto nila laging na sa Alabanga? It's not really because of how beautiful the parish is, but it's really because of the parishioner of the people uh, themselves. Bakit tayo dinudumo kapag holy? Is it really because of, perhaps it's because of uh, among Hinil, but more than that, perhaps because of how 
people are welcoming uh, especially uh, during holy week no nasa tao pa rin talaga yung key no no kung kung paano na appreciate yung isang lugar nagiging special ang isang luto dahil sa tao di ba di ba may mga secret in- ingredients tayo Tinatago natin ang mga litrato dahil sa alaala at danas ng tao. So, remembering. Uh, remembering and, well, the uh, opposite of that is forgetting. Those uh, ingredients are really our tools also uh, to uh, live a literary life, li- live an artistic life. Kung gusto natin mas, uh, ma- uh, mas ma-develop yung creativeness natin at kung paano Uh, natin mas makikita yung arte, yung singing at yung kung ano ang magandang kwento, kailangan natin uh, also cons- i-consider yung memory, na no? yung alaala, yung danas, yung experience. Yun. May pag-ibig, may pagmamahal, may ligaya, may dawan, may true love, may sweetie, may forever, dahil may tao. Diba? That's how... Ha, uh, how important human being is. Ganoon kahalaga yung yung tao at yung pakikipagkapwa natin sa ibang tao. The human person is the ultimate appreciator. No? Uh, yung tao talaga yung ultimate appreciator ng kahit na anong singing. The human person is the ultimate giver of meaning. We are we are actually the appreciator of the art because we are the giver of meaning. So, Eh, walang saysay yung arte kung wala itong na ibibigay ng mga kahulugan. Da, ba, bakit natin na-appreciate ang art dahil nagbibigay ito sa atin ng iba't ibang kahulugan na makikita lang natin sa art no? or sa panitikan? The human person is the ultimate giver, there, therefore, of, of meaning. The appreciation of diversity, sinabi na ito kanina ni Ma'am uh, uh, Aileen, no? the appreciation of diversity, therefore, is the plurality, yung multivocality, uh, yung pagkakaiba-iba. Da, ba, da, bakit, bakit nagiging mahalaga yung art? Dahil na nasi-celebrate natin yung pagkakaiba-iba natin. Dahil iba-iba yung experience natin, yung danas natin, yung wika natin, yung alaala natin, dinadala natin yun kapag na we're appreciating as a particular art. Therefore, the meaning becomes mul- multiple. No? The meaning becomes varied. There's a, a diversity of meaning because we're bringing in uh, when we appreciate also our danas, our experience, the way we uh, give meaning to the world. No? Ibinibigay natin kapag nag-appreciate tayo ng pantikan man ito o ng art. The challenge is to listen to different voices no matter how small. So, also, importante din yung pakikinig, no? yung listening to the different voices, varied voices, no matter how small the voice is. And also share our similarities and celebrate also our differences as human person. And lastly, kaugnay pa rin ito sa ikaapat na nasalita, which is tao or human, ay yung puso. Diba? Kasi uh, mostly we're forgetting the matter of the heart. We're always looking at how we develop the brain, no? the rational, the logical. And most of the time we're forgetting the matter of the heart. So uh, ngayong hapan gusto kong uh, bigyang pansin din yung mga bagay na nasa puso natin. Kasi ito yung nag-trigger sa atin so we can we're able to effectively appreciate uh, a particular art form, yung puso natin. No? The heart, therefore, is culturing the soul. No? Uh, binibigyang pansin ng puso yung kaluluwa, yung diwa. Pinangalagaan ng puso ang ating kaluluwa. Remember, the human person is not just made of body. We are also souls. Yung kaluluwa na iyon ang, nagiging, ang nag, laging nagahan. No, so laging laging nagsusearch, so soul searching siya. Yung puso, yung yung kaluluwa ay laging naghahanap. Ang kaluluwa na naghahanap ng isang kaibigan. So and sometimes uh, nahanap na, lang niya yung kaibigan na iyon sa tula, sa musika, pwede sa pelikula o pakikipagkapwa sa ibang tao. Maraming salamat po. Thank you.
Okay, thank you so much, sir, Sir Jerome, for that very insightful and a very artistic discussion with us. Grabe, ang dami kong natutunan kay sir. <laughs> ang dami kong natutunan kay sir. Ginamit talaga ni sir yung mga senses natin to appreciate and um, to know the value and the importance of the arts. So thank you so much, sir, for the discussion. Grabe, may mga notes ako. <laughs> Nag, Nag-notes din ako sa mga inano ni sir. Eh. Akala ko kasi, um, when we say arts, we just write, we just, you know, paint, we compose. Parang yun lang yung um, meaning for me ng art. Pag sinabing art, ganun lang siya for me. Pero ngayon, ang dami. Meron na siya sa taste. I know na na. So, okay, yes, yeah, sa so seeing, pati yung sa heart, yung pat human. Like, I think, pag sinabing arts and human yung human siya lang yung artist siya lang yung tagagawa pero ngayon like we are the appreciator of the arts so thank you so much sir ang dami-dami kong natutunan sa iyo so sana marami ring natutunan ng ating mga viewers and that para sa ating mga mga viewers you can ask question through our chat box sa ating YouTube sa ating YouTube live stream at sa ating Facebook live stream. So, wag, mo, wag na po tayong mag-hesitate to ask questions kasi it's now our chance as we celebrate as we celebrate um, National Arts Month. So, let's appreciate arts and para mas maliwanagan tayo since nandito na ang ating mga speakers and they are ready to answer your question after um, the speaker or the discussion of our last speaker. So speaking of our last speaker, may we call in once again, Ma'am Perli um, Esperidov to introduce our third and last speaker for this webinar. All right, so hello everyone, I'm back. Once again, thank you so much, Sir Brian. And now to introduce our last speaker for this afternoon. Okay, so he is the founder and CEO of I Love Ara Incorporated. He is a multi-awarded teacher with over 10 years of experience in the technology and education management industries, as well as youth financial and climate change education advocacy. He has also authored various books on financial education and mental health education. Aside from his impressive achievements, Mr. I, our speaker also has a background in the arts. In fact, he served as the layout and graphic artist for his college publication from 2008 to 2010, showcasing his creativity and attention to detail. As a technopreneur, he has also developed the mobile apps of I Love Aral, demonstrating his passion of integrating technology into education. So let us give a round of virtual claps to our last but not least speaker, Mr. James Oren Espirida. Thank you so much for the um, introduction, Perley, and to my fellow speakers. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I want to apologize that my voice today might not sound as clear as usual, but I am committed to delivering my presentation as planned. So I will be sharing my screen. Okay, so I will be discussing the introduction of art and artificial intelligence. The rise of AI has brought new opportunities and challenges to the world of local arts. And, uh, you know, it is important that we understand the potential and benefits and drawbacks of using AI in this field. In, in this presentation, we will explore how AI is being used in local arts, its impact on the creative process and accessibility, and some of the challenges that arise when incorporating AI into the arts. We will also take um, a look at, I mean, into the future of local arts and AI and the potential development that may have 
a significant impact on the bill. So first, I'd like to give you a recap of the meaning of the arts. Arts can be defined as creative activities that involve the use of imagination and skills to produce works that have aesthetic and cultural value. The field of art encompasses a wide range of disciplines, including uh, we have three disciplines. Uh, we have visual arts, it could be painting, sculpture, um, architecture, and photography. We also have uh, performing arts, uh, could be chatter, music, or dance. We also, the last one is the literary, Art, which could be composed of poetry and prose and so on. Art is considered as a form of expressions of human activity because it reflects the culture, values, and beliefs of a society where a person belongs, right? Um, whatever, I mean, the way we live, like what Sir Jerome said, that it is actually the people that, that enrich the uniqueness and diversity of ours. So it's actually the human being, it's actually the people that create the art, the, the art, not actually the, the, the artworks or, or the locality, but the people doing that particular or having that role in, uh, in the creative process. We're going deeper to the meaning of local arts. Actually, there are so many uh, definitions of local arts from various cultural organizations, but I will be giving this very simple meaning of local arts. It is an artistic expression of a particular community. In the community, we have actually people, their beliefs and ways of living, like what I've said earlier. These are what compose the uniqueness of the art in a certain community. On the other hand, AI or artificial intelligence is an ability of technological tools to perform tasks with intellectual processing characteristic of human or an intellectual capacity that could be the same with human brain. So with AI, it's actually um, empowering a technological tool to act like human because of the program created uh, by human cell, okay? So with new applications and emerging possibilities, artificial intelligence has been integrated into the field of arts. It is significant that we must know the benefits, challenges, and prospects of AI integration into local art. This part of my presentation will focus on the benefits and challenges of AI to arts and provide examples of those integration. So I will be focusing on the benefits, uh, challenges, and the, the, the potentials of the AI into the local arts. So we'll be starting with the benefits. Starting with the benefits, I emphasize here that AI adds, okay, AI adds streamer to aesthetic work. I don't want to say that AI beautifies the work or a work of art because art itself is already aesthetic, right? I also don't want to tell you that, you know, AI can make the artwork itself because I believe that AI should be uh, seen as, a, should not be, I mean, should not be seen as a replacement for human activity or for uh, human creative process, because it is only a tool that is programmed and controlled by humans. So AI adds streamers to aesthetic work to make experience more immersive and interactive. So I have here um, screenshots of some of the sites that actually uh, related to the integration of AI to making art um, immersive and interactive.
For example, here, I have here um, a 3D printing, 3D scanning, where in industry nowadays, or even a museum from different parts of the globe, are actually using 3D printing industry or 3D scanning uh, that has been used to make replicas of arts destroyed by fire or other circumstances. So in that case, na um, kapag na wala na yung, yung artwork because of some circumstances, AI can actually create almost similar, that's, we call, that's what, actually what we call replica, almost similar form of that artwork. So it may not be... Um, it may not be as as um you know as big as the the uh, I mean as big as the real one, but of course it would be uh, somewhat the same in terms of the the uh, the the form, the appearance, and so on. And then here I've searched, I've searched here um on the internet that an AI has created a uh, drowned in the sand by Nirvana. And it was actually, uh, yeah, it sounds like the Nirvana, but it was not really recorded by Nirvana, by the real Nirvana, okay? So you can actually search this on YouTube, uh, Drowned in the Sand by Nirvana. It was actually a music, okay, re recorded or created by an AI. You know, based or based from processing the previous or the artistic um or the past artworks of Nirvana. So based from analyzing the past artwork of Nirvana, that AI was able to come up with another music, another, I mean uh, release another music that really sounds like Nirvana. So that's it. And then I have here in the third um, screenshot. Um, another example is how Beethoven's last symphony was uh, finished by the help or with the help of an AI. So here you can search this also on YouTube because it actually took about 194 years after the death of Beethoven before an AI was able to copy, I mean, to analyze the the way Beethoven create music, and in that case, that AI um, was able to come up or or to finish or make a finale of uh, the uh, the last symphony of Beethoven. So that's how AI made that interesting music. Okay, so in the Philippines, uh, we also have here. Uh, museums that integrate or that incorporate AI. We have here the CCP, the Cultural Center of the Philippines. They they were able to integrate AI by uh, um, launching a 360 tour, okay? And including also with Ayala Museum, they use 3D, okay? They use, I can zoom it, I forgot to zoom it. So they can use, um yeah, they can use I, they were able to use 3D, 3D dia, uh, diorama of, uh, you know, of, I mean, by just merely uh, using a mobile phone or a certain application that uh, can create immersive museum experience. So that's it. You know, AI can add, can, can beautify, can beautify or, or can add shimmers to the beautiful artwork, to the aesthetic work. Next is automation of creative process. So AI can also um, automate certain aspects of creative process, like generating new digital arts so we can save time. So artists can save time and increase efficiency. So for example, here, I have here two examples. Um, first is the art breeder. So art breeder can do it. It can generate new digital art by blending multiple images together. So by uploading, by, by merging multiple 
on multiple images so art breeder you can create a a new digital artwork so another example is the Amper Music here. The Amper Music, <clears throat> on the other hand, is an AI-powered music composer. So it allows artists or users to custom or customize okay, music tracks okay, for their project. So you can create your own music without using um, instrument, musical instrument. So AI can do that for you. Next is adaptability and accessibility. So for the adaptability and accessibility, um, yeah, we have actually um, with AI, we it can actually help um, people to be adaptive. Or I mean, AI technology can adapt to the needs of the users. So for example, here, I have here the RC. It is an AI-powered um, online platform that suggests local arts to its users based on their preferences or browsing history. So, for example, if you're a fan of um, looking for a Philippine local arts on your uh, search engine, let's say Google, then the application will provide suggestions more about the Philippine local arts. So, it's like uh, algorithms. So uh, whatever you put there, whatever you like to, to get, then the AI will provide you all the things that you are actually fond of, you know, doing. So that's how RC um, doing the role in the AI. <clears throat> Next is here, I have another, is the Seeing AI. It is really an interesting application from Microsoft, wherein, um, it uses the camera of a smartphone or a tablet, and then by by shooting, okay, by shooting the surroundings or by shooting an artwork, or you know, yeah, artwork. It can describe people, text, object, and any work of art. So the app can provide an audio description that can help blind people to imagine the artwork. So imagine that uh, blind nowadays can can imagine the kind of art because of the AI. Okay, so that's how AI um, poster adaptability and accessibility for the local arts. And next is okay. The last benefit that I will be sharing to you is the personalization. The I'm sharing this is because it's the ability of the AI to personalize an art experience. So it's somewhat um, similar, somewhat uh, the same with, with my previous discussion on the adaptability and accessibility. But I will be sharing with you how Smartify um, is an AI application can actually recognize a work of art and provide you with descriptions about the artwork and the artist. So imagine um, by, by merely looking at the artwork, you're going to use the smart a Smartify. And then in that case, you can get the details of the artwork, uh, whether uh, the background of that artwork and also the people or the, 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 the person behind that uh, creative work. Next is the art index. So yes, that's the art index. It uses also an algorithm that provides art suggestions based on, on the user's preferences, based on user's interest, and generate a written description about the artwork. So while, uh, let's go back, while this, um, while this, Artsy just provides you with the background. I mean, you know, yeah, background based on, on the artwork. Art Trendex can actually, um, can actually, can actually make, um, you know, make 
art work or can actually help you provide with uh, descriptions of the artworks. So that's the, how Artrindex um, do that. Okay, next is next is the future of art from the archive. You know, archive is actually the same an AI application that can scan artwork and provide descriptions. So that's how it personalized, you know, art experience. Okay. We also need to acknowledge the challenges of AI to scholars. First and foremost is the technicality, technicality and resource challenges for local arts groups or institutions or organizations to incorporate AI really needs um, more to address the, the challenges in terms of technicality and resources because um, they need they need really need a high cost yeah they i mean many um developing and maintaining ai technologies requires high cost and high quality data so that's how um local arts groups organizations and institutions um can consider the challenge. Second is preserving balance. You know, um, it has been a, a debate whether AI could replace human creativity, making it a threat to local art authenticity, right? Therefore, we need to balance the role of AI into the field of art. Um, Kailangan alam natin kung hanggang saan we must know the limitation of the AI, AI technologies. Hanggang saan lang dapat, hanggang saan lang dapat so that we can still, or AI or technology expert can still respect uh, cultural uniqueness, cultural authenticity. To avoid cultural biases and stereotypes, whether or not it is intentional, um, we must build on the ethical considerations of the integrations of AI into local arts. AI developers must recognize cultural diversity or cultural sensitivity and inclusivity. How? How, how can they do that? First, or how we can do that? First, we must um, develop and implement guidelines and standards for the ethical development. And I mean, for the ethical considerations in terms of the development and implementation of AI into the local arts, into the art particularly. Second, instilling cultural awareness to AI developers. I think this, this kind of setup, this kind of session, we can, um, reach technological expert people doing or making mobile applications or using AI. Uh, they can. They must be very aware of the cultural um, sensitivity, cultural inclusivity, so that they will not commit cultural biases and stereotypes. Third is monitor and evaluate the implementation of AI. So we users we can. Do that. We can check, we can monitor how AI is actually performing in terms of, you know, assessing us in terms of providing interactive and immersive art experiences. So I think um, one way is, you know, we can check that and uh, probably there should be a certain department that we can report, right? We can report violations committed to I mean, committed by a certain technological applications in terms of, you know, committing cultural biases and stereotypes. Lastly, there must be a collaboration between AI and cultural experts. So it is important that a mobile app developer, um, yeah, 
any app developer must have that so-called um um what so-called uh, collaborations with cultural experts not only their perspective working on that particular ai powered applications or technologies but also trying to work together with cultural workers cultural experts so that their voices could be heard could be considered okay could be considered in terms of integrating the AI into the local laws. So let us be a tool. Will AI replace human creativity? Let AI be a tool to enhance and complement human creativity rather than replacing the authenticity or the authentic, yeah, the authentic artistic capacity of human brains. So that's it. That's how art and AI can work together. Thank you so much. the YouTube channel. Yeah, I hope we have questions. Our listener um, already framed questions for the question. Okay, so nag run out daw. <laughs> Nagkaroon ng power outage sa area ni, ni ng ating host kay Brian Lopez. So, yes. Since bigla na walang ating host due to the power interruptions, we will be proceeding with the discussion forum, Ma'am Aileen and Sir uh, Jerome. So based from the discussion, from our discussion, 
based from our uh, okay, pumasok si Brian. Nagkaroon ng brand out. So, based from our discussion, it's actually interesting kung pa- paano nagkakaroon ng intersection between the local arts and and AI, di ba? What are actually your points there, Sir Jerome and Ma'am Aileen, about, you know, the integration of AI into the local arts? Uh, for me, it's a welcome, um, welcome uh, thing uh, that AI uh, is there uh, for the arts no? uh, in the locality. So it actually complements the uh, artistic juices of the of humans no? and it enhances and it makes the art more, art work more efficient. The musical icing is the uh, major contribution of technology uh, that it makes things easier, convenient, and uh, complex. So. Yeah. Mom Aileen, I think you need to unmute your microphone. Yeah, I agree with you, Jay. Uh, as long as AI doesn't encroach, it is a welcome addition. Uh, basta alam lang ng li- kung saan yung limit. Alam nung gumagamit ng AI yung limit. At saka, hindi siya nagiging an empty car. It is really adding flavor and texture to our authentic artworks. So, I'm looking forward. So, marami na lalo na sa young generation of artists because they are digital native. So, they, they are going to be having the capacity and they are very excited to explore the, the integration of AI in, in local arts. Thank you so much, Ma'am Aileen. And Sir Jerome. Hello, Jan. Brian. <laughs> Welcome back again. <laughs> Brian. Your microphone, please. Sorry, Sorry po. <laughs> Medyo nagiging consistent naman po yung brown out dito sa mas bate. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Any joke lang po. We Pero thank you so much po. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga po. Salamat naman po at bumalik agad yung kuryente namin dito. <laughs> so thank you so much po. Grabe ang gagaling ng ating mga speakers. Hindi basta-basta ang ating speakers for this afternoon. Grabe, we have discussed about sa diversity, ang sa artificial intelligence, which is a uh, um, sensitive topic, of course. <laughs> and arts and diversity, yes, we have tackled that. Kaya, yun lang. Okay, so siguro um, you can ask questions po sa ating chat box sa yung mga viewers natin from YouTube and Facebook. By the way, don't forget to like our Facebook page, yung I Love Aral. Like and follow our Facebook page and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, I Love Aral. So, pwede nyo rin po siyang i-share sa inyong mga friends para mas malawak po ang, ang maabot ng ating platform. Yan. So, siguro may, may na-prepare ako dito na um, simple questions <laughs> kanina. I have prepared questions kanina. Pero para po ito kay Ma'am, uh, Ma'am Eileen. Okay. <laughs> Kasi po, sabi, can you, um, sabi po kanina, wait ako. Nahakop yung question ko. Hindi ko na mahanap ko. <laughs> wait lang, wait lang. Okay. So, ito po yung question ko. Um, can we still call the twisted traditional um, history or traditional culture as an expression of art? So, yun po yung mong question ko, ma'am. Para sa akin po, hindi. Uh, it, is, it can be one form of a threat. Uh, freedom of expression kasi wala ka namang magagawa para pigilan yung mga tao o mga grupo na gustong gawin yun. Pero it is not art. Uh, kasi art, uh, since time immemorial, it has the connotation of being positive. It has the connotation of serving uh, the purpose for the sake of the common good, for the sake of the majority. If it is just serving the purpose of 
an individual o yung mga grupo na questionable nga yung paniniwala nila na tama yung ginagawa nila, I don't believe that it is an art expression. So we are really have artists and audience have this moral obligation actually to to try to prevent dispersion of history in any form. Kasi nga po, uh, kailangan lang nating manindigan as artists and as uh, consumers of art forms, we have really to to fight for the truth, for the expression of what is true. Yun po yung sagot ko. Thank you so much, ma'am. Kasi, you know, it's a very uh, medyo sensitive topic yan since ngayon talaga is nagiging question na yung um, history and some are making propagandas to twist history. And so, yan, para mas malaman, most especially sa youth natin, kung ano nga ba talaga yung essence ng art. Yung kung ano ba talaga ang pinaka-purpose ng art sa ating panahon ngayon. So, thank you so much, ma'am, for that answer. Para maliwanagan po lalo ako at yung ating mga thank viewers. Po. Thank you so much, okay. ma'am. Kay Sir Jerome naman po, may question ako. Ay, Sir Jerome. So, di ba po, sabi niyo po kanina, um, human ang, humans are the appreciator of um, the art. So, how can we deeply ap- um, appreciate art, sir, if social injustice prevails? Oo. Uh, yun yung, ano, yun yung actually yung uh, sa tingin ko, yung Funct- isa sa mga functions ng art is uh, really uh, towards to the truth. No? Yung, uh, in addition to what Ma'am uh, Ayan had said earlier, yung, yung katotohanan dapat, laging sa katotohanan yung, yung, uh, yung scene. Kapag hindi na just yung kanyang pinapanigan, I think it loses its being art. Uh, so yun yun. Um, we the artist should maintain uh, that uh, he, his or her artwork should be towards uh, uh, the good of the majority. Yung 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 sining para sa mas marami kesa sa sining ng na para lang sa ikilan o few people. Yun siguro yun. So how do we appreciate uh, arts? if uh, there is no uh, justice no? so justice muna siguro yun yun siguro yung ano yan uh, ang, ang solution niyan is that uh, we create art so people would know no to be more just to be to be more uh, humans mas maging tao muna tayo uh, bago natin pag-usapan kung paano maging mas maging mas masini uh, pag-usapan din muna natin kung paano mas maging tao Thank you, thank, you. thank you so much, sir. Grabe. Hindi tayo talaga tinatantanan ng ating mga, um, our speakers are not backing down answering the questions that is being thrown to them. So, thank you so much, sir. So, ayan, viewers, um, artists, my fellow, oh, fellow, <laughs> artists from, um, from different um, places in Bicol and maybe in the Um, in the Philippines, so yeah, and dapat sabi ni sir, we just need to be just first before I'm um, doing arts or kailangan namin nung una natin intindihin at uh, alamin kung ano yung tama sa mali. For, ano, and then, we could make our arts um, based from those po. Okay, so kay sir James naman, hi sir, I don't know, baka, baka na-discuss mo na to sir kanina um, nung, out, nung out ako. Pero I'll just have to ask this, sir, kasi gusto ko rin mara- malaman from you um, what's your stand about this. Um, for you, sir, does artificial intelligence has neg- um, negative Im- impact in creating artwork? Okay, so. Naka-off po ata sa Sorry, ito na ano yung boses ko. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I actually uh, emphasize that 
in my presentation that AI, AI uh, integration into the, into the local arts has benefits. It also has drawbacks. But, you know, it really depends on how we integrate AI into the local arts. It's actually in the manner of integrating or incorporating AI into the local arts. But like in my uh, final words, AI or technology should only be tools uh, to enhance and complement, you know, human creative process, but uh, not actually as, you know, a replacement of human creativity. So that's how I do that. And I also agree with Sir Jerome um, discussions a while ago that, you know, in the response of Sir Jerome to your question, um, for me to appreciate art, it must actually tell us the truth. I think an art, anybody, anyone can create art, but a great art is something that tells the truth. Right, the uh, universal truth, my God, <laughs> the universal truth. You know, anyone can make movies, but but we should look at movies that tells the truth, not tells, uh, not those movies telling fake news or disinformation or misinformation. So it's really like what Ma'am Aileen said: we as consumer of art, we must be critical in terms of choosing the kind of art that we will be consuming. And the same with, I mean, to those artists, because artists are producers of artwork. So they must also be responsible in making art, um, ensuring that their artworks are actually telling the universal truth. Okay, thank you so much, sir. So, ayan, grabe. Um, Another inform, um, information from another and then nag na add yung mga information and it, it files up and then marami tayong nakukuhang mga um, information regarding sa arts and to the truths about appreciating arts. So thank you so much to our speakers and baka may mga questions pa po tayo sa ating chat box. Um, meron pa po ba tayong mga questions sa chat box para... Since nandito lang ating mga speakers, matanong na po natin. Pwede natin i-shout out. Oh, shout out. <laughs> shout out yung mga nag-shout out sa live. Ah, okay po. Sige po, sir. May access ka ba? Kaba naghintay tayo ng question. May access ka ba, Brian? Ano, ano po, sir? Sa YouTube, ang daming shout out sa YouTube. Pwede nating uh, Ah, wala pa ako access. <laughs> sa YouTube, sige. I love Aral YouTube channel. Okay. okay so, shout out ko na rin po yung lahat ng mga taga Debesam Scott, yung mga taga Dr. Emilio B. Espinosa Senior Memorial State College of Agriculture and Technology. Um, Debesam Scott, it's a so, it's a so um, state college in the province. So shout out sa lahat ng Debesians. Your internal vice chairperson is here now. <laughs> Grabe. This is a very big opportunity for me, sir. So thank you so much. And to all um, participants ng Obra Mas Batenyo, yung... Um, yung uh, celebration ng National Arts Month dito sa Masbate. So, shout out sa lahat ng artist, ng local artist, yung mga um, performers, and dun sa Wish Bus, nandito rin sila. Shout out sa mga singers ng Wish Bus. So, yung mga lahat ng the best chance nakasali doon. Um, congratulations, and thank you for making us proud. So, si Sir, baka meron sila, ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am Eileen, baka may babatiin ka pa daw po. And sa Jerome. Ay, okay po. Shout, shout out, out po sa lahat ng members ng Chetro Ragayano. Opo, Chetro Ragayano at saka sa lahat ng mga estudyante ko sa grade 10 English sa Ragay National Agricultural and Fisheries School. Special mention po sa amin ni uh, principal, si Ma'am Anna Gutierrez Palenzuela. At saka po sa aming education program, 
uh, especially sa English, sa Division of Canary Sur, si Ma'am Prisha, sa Arlo, English Teachers of the Division of Canary Sur. Shout out po. At sa lahat po ng mga kaibigan. At gusto ko rin po, Sir James, thank you very much. I really appreciate uh, uh, the I Love Aral team. You are such a very committed, creative, and hardworking team. Uh, I'm very proud and honored to be one of you. Salamat sa tiwala po. Uh, thank you very much din kay Sir Jay. Uh, always one of my most favorite authors and and discussant. Ang galing-galing niyo mag-discuss. Nag-pressure ako ate. <laughs> <laughs> Ma-shout out din po ako sa lahat ng members ng Pintados and the Writers Project at sa mga sudyante ko sa Central Bicol State University of Agriculture, Calabangla. Uh, thank you din sa I Love Aran for always inviting me yearly for your different activities and uh, webinars such as this. So shout out din po sa wait lang hindi ko ma-off yung video. Okay, shout out din po sa lahat ng student leaders out there. Sa lahat ng student leaders ng The Best of Scott and congratulations sa kanilang um last activity, yung previous activity ng council, yung paralanggaan, um yung paralanggaan is it means um magmahalan so congratulations the best of Scott Supreme Student Council and sa lahat ng college student councils um who dedicated their time and effort to um bring such artistic um output para sa ating mga um fellow debesians maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo and then sa lahat ng student leaders ng Bicol yeah ar- alam ko naman na Um, some of us are not really into writings and in, into paintings, pero we dedicated our talents in um, being, a, be, being a student leader. So, yeah. So, let's read the word. Um, shout out in the trans- James, <laughs> okay. So, may ano dito? May question tayo from the YouTube live chat. Meron dito ang isang uh, meron ba sa kanina? Okay. Ito po. Ah, sige, po. How can we into, How can we introduce to younger generation the basic concept of AI without compromising the true essence and meaning of art? Okay. How I uh, only think about so how can we introduce to younger generation the basic concept of AI without compromising the true essence and meaning of ours? Uh, start from anyone chatting po siguro. I'm Aileen. Maybe we start with uh, making clear that deciding to be an artist and creating art is starting from the motivation. Siguro kung maliwanag yung motivation natin, bakit tayo artist? Bakit tayo gumagawa ng art? So magiging mas malinaw din sa mga kabataan na ang paggawa ng isang akdang singing or likang singing ay nagiging reflection ng sarili nating pagkatao at ng sarili nating pagtingin sa mundo. It is a reflection of our uh, world view. So yung sinasabi natin kanina na it should be anchored on universal truth, magiging guideline po yun, magiging guiding path, parang, parang beacon of light. Uh, pag, parang magiging parola ng mga kabataan na nagsisimula gumamit ng AI. So, kapag ganun, mas magiging maliwanag sa kanila na may limitations talaga yung pag, paglalagay o pagko-complement ng AI facilities or technology sa si authentic art creation process. So, siguro po magsisimula doon. 
self-motivation and clear vision kung saan talaga papunta yung art create creating process nila. At at the end of the day, yung sagot sa tanong na para kanino ko ginagawa ang singing ko? To what purpose is my to what purpose is my art a serving? Yun po, yun po ang take ko doon. Sir, Sir Jerome? Okay, ma- mahirap na tanong yun eh. Pero I'll take it th- uh, this way na lang. Uh, that we should not be forgetting that uh, we are humans. No? Kasi yung uh, AI kasi it's more of technology and wala silang mga puso, di ba? <laughs> so yun siguro yung advantage nating mga tao. Uh, uh, we put our heart to things that we do, be it um, painting or writing. Uh, writing, no, be it short story or novel or uh, short story, uh, laging wag, wag kakalimutan yung puso sa mga bagay na ginagawa natin. Kasi yung I think is the advantage of the humans uh, to the AI. Yun siguro yun. Thank you, sir and ma. So I think ang take ko naman sa sa question na yan on how to introduce to the younger generation as an elementary teacher I think it's um, take take uh, take the formative years as an opportunity for them to to be immersed with technologies while they are within your your let's say your boundaries. I mean within your wall in the classroom while they are your students. I think it is a great opportunity, a great opportunity for you na ma-introduce sa kanila habang ikaw pa ikaw na teacher you are knowledgeable ma-introduce ma-introduce sa kanila what's actually the essence of arts and what's actually the essence of using technology or integrating technology into the art so in that case may proper education sila makukuha rather than just uh, just letting them explore when they are outside the classroom or when they are not in school So in that case, when they explore that, sometimes they they might think that when they use AI on that particular art, akala nila siguro, ah, pwede pala natin itong gawin? Uh, pwede pala itong guma- gawin na uh, gumawa ako ng art? Kasi I, I, I forgot the name. Hindi ko siya nasama sa presentation ko. Meron isang AI na you're just going to to input the word, the, word, the, descri- uh, the description, and then the AI will just throw will make the digital art. Let's say you want a frog, a frog a swimming in a green river, parang ganon, with crown, lipstick, somewhat like that. And then when you when you submit that to the AI, the AI will generate a digital art. A very beautiful. I, I was able to experience generating that. It was actually a very beautiful Um, artwork but somehow you know if we do not uh, educate young people about the proper use of technologies nowadays they will be mis- uh, they can be uh, uh, it can lead to to improper education so we teachers take advantage of our classroom hours of our school hours to to teach our young people how to use technologies responsibly. Meron pa ata, meron pa dito akong tanong na na, na, na basta. Salamat sa uh, tanong pala yon ni Erickson Vival. So ang ganda ng tanong. Next meron pa dito. Ito daw. Meron po. Okay. Can you cite? Yes, Brian. Ah, wala po, sir. Yun yung tanong po. <laughs> Can you cite? Can you cite an example of popular AI tools used in R such as the dal e of Open AI? And how can we use such tool in our local arts? So, I, I already uh, um, cite some examples a while ago during my presentation. I have so many AIs Um, presented samples of AIs. And 
they are actually interesting. Interesting to be integrated into the local art. To say, you know, if we want to make uh, local art or art experience more immersive and interactive, we can use AI. If we want to, to you know, to let people from different parts of the globe access our our digital art, we can use AI. So that's how we can enhance, enhance and complement the delivery of our artwork to other people who are actually interested to those artworks. So that's, uh, thank you for the question, Niel Javier Barkel. How can, how can arts pass from one generation to one another? I mean, Siguro, how can art pass from one generation to another without appreciating them? Is that possible? From Aileen? Ako po, ako po um, it can work both ways. Uh, to answer the question, yes. Even if nobody, uh, even if you don't, a particular individual doesn't appreciate art, it can also be passed on from one generation to another because there are other people who will do so, like the oral tradition. Yung matatandang kwento po ng mga ninuno uh, natin, na ikikwento nila yan. Like for example, the history of Chepper originated from the shadow play. Uh, Noong mga panahon na uh, campfire, apoy pa lang yung kasama ng mga ninuno natin, Ah, nililibang nila yung kanilang mga sarili sa paggawa ng mga anino gamit ang apoy at ang dilim. So, at yung oral tradition kung saan na nagsimula ang mga kwento na hindi pa nasusulat, it is one form of passing art to the next generation. So, kahit hindi mo ina-appreciate, maipapasa pa rin siya. Ano yung, ano yung value at saka ano yung yung beauty, yung kagandahan na na-appreciate mo ang art at and at the same time na ipapasa mo siya. Nagkakaroon ng mas karagdagang kahulugan kasi nagsisimula ka na makita mo yung sarili mo. Art is becoming relevant to you as an individual. So you pass it on. And then the person receiving it, whether it is whether that person is a member of your current generation or a member of the next generation will be adding her own meaning, will be adding her own relevance. So, mas nagiging mayaman yung ating art forms habang tumatagal kasi nagpapasalin-salin at nadadagdag yung mga kahulugan at karanasan at alaala ng mga uh, nagkikwento at nagpapasa nito sa iba. Ah, kaya nga po nakakaroon tayo ng collective consciousness na tinatawag. And at, as a people, ah, nakakaroon tayo ng collective memory. Yun po yung ganda ng pagpapasa ng art. Thank you. Sir Jerome, may add ka po pa, sir. Okay, sige. Um, asusundan ko yung sinabi ni Ate Aya. No? So, we can actually... Uh, uh, pass uh, the arts uh, to younger generation without appreciating it. Um, via yung mga CEO no, or yung mga cu curate curators at yung mga archivists, mga naga archive ng art at ng panitikan. But I think counterproductive yung tanong, bakit, bakit hindi appreciate or in fact art should be appreciated ano ah uh, kasi yun yun may tat, may ikatatlong elemento yung uh, yung sining no yung una yung gumagawa ng sining o yung artist yung ikalawa yung art mismo at sinabi na nga ni Ate Ay kanina pa, uh, para magkaroon ng kakulugan yung art para magkaroon ng beauty ng buhay no ng mismong buhay yung sining ay kinakailangan nung nung mamabasa o yung kung na, yung uh, yung audience no yung audience is the third part or the third element that makes the art alive na bumu, bumupuhay sa sining ay yung audience yung ma, sa, sa 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 ano naman writing yung mambabasa kung wala yung mambabasa hindi buhay yung pula hindi buhay yung mga text lang ito mga salita sa papel 
hindi sila mabubuhay bilang kwento kung walang mababasa. I think that's the reason why uh, art, any art form should be appreciated. So they will be alive. Mabubuhay sila. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Jerome and Ma'am Aileen. Gana pa ako ng question. And and dami mga compliment, mga mga congratulatory words. Ah, okay. <laughs> Salamat po. <laughs> okay. Kung kung maganda sana yung bosses ko. <laughs> Tama sana po sa bosses ko. Hindi ko na kaya ng magbasa ng masyadong mga mga shout out dito so okay so I'll try pa rin shout out kay Kailin Ibiares Lourdes Lavinia Asanya uh, good afternoon uh-huh. dog sa Jerome from 1-9 and then watching from Arnav Seta Espiritu okay. watching from oh, Arnav Kaila happy Arch okay. to everyone from Seta Espiritu And then Justine Homan, Laura Bayeta, Catherine Santos, Mary Rose De Mesa, Janica Agüenza. How exciting it is! Napaka exciting ni Dana, Dana Dauran. Okay, I can't imagine the world without arts. Happy National Art Month, artists! Do more, learn more. So probably, if we don't have any more questions, busit na ba tayo? Lagi nawawala si, si Brian. Eh. Lagi, ano. Sige, nagka-plug tweet siguro yung current. Or electric. Uh, electricity nila sa iya. Brian? Brian? Ayan. So, ayan. So, sorry po nawawala. Wala talaga po ako. Nagkakaroon ako ng technical problem here. But still, I'm trying my very best to be still here and to listen uh, to listen to the speakers and to their insights about the um, questions na tinatanong sa atin ng ating mga viewers. Salamat sa ating mga viewers sa pag-talk. Thank you so much for being with us and for listening to the discussion. So up next to our program is um, the discussion of um, um, webinar evaluation and e-certificate. Um, to present this, uh, may we call in the CEO of Isla Baral, Sir James. Yan, para po sa ating mga viewers, ito po ang ating webinar, um, webinar evaluation and e-certificate. Thank you so much, Sir Brian. So actually, it will be presented by Sir Christopher Claron, our um, monitoring and evaluation um, officer. But due to an emergency, I will be taking in charge of this presentation. I'm I'm trying to look at the the presentation for the mobile application. Okay, so your your um you can actually get your certificate by accomplishing by accomplishing the evaluation tool of this um art in the locality webinar. So. You can 
you can access our I Love Aral mobile application. And there in the course, under the course, there is a, a course on the art in the locality, art in the locality. And then you can um, access that. Okay, I found it. Okay, so in the art in the locality, uh, you can check for the evaluation. You can go to, to the Isle of Aral mobile application. And then in the mobile application, um, you can check there under the course. There's a course already open that's free. So you can, anyone can access that. And then check the course arts in the locality. And then after that, you can check the um the evaluation of the said um activity after our live session so in that case if you were able to accomplish the evaluation there will be an automatic generation of e certificate so automatic kapag na natapos yung ma accomplish yung evaluation you you can check your um your email because there is andali because of AI <laughs> because of technology andali lang meron agad kayong e-certificate for that so I mean sharing about the I Love Aral mobile application I'm interested to incorporate arts in this application uh, basis sa aming pag-uusap-usap kanina ni Sir uh, Sir Jerome Ma'am Eileen Parang ang gandang magkaroon. So I'm planning to come up with a gallery section. Kasi meron na kami ditong library section. So yung mga, mga teaching resources na pwedeng i-share, pwede na dito mahanap. So I, I'm interested into putting a gallery. Siguro sir yung mga output ng, ng pintados, ng ano pa, mga, parang it would be a simple museum, simple art gallery that they can access for free, siguro pwede natin siyang ma maisama dito sa I Love Aral. Yes. Pwede uh, yung mga art, yeah, mga art works nila. So, we will ask permission sa mga artists if they want to to feature their their artworks sa ating I Love Aral mobile application. So, that's it. So, yes, just check out, download, or install the I Love Aral mobile application on your Android phone. This is only available through the Android app. Android application. We don't have yet application for Apple or iOS. This is only intended for the Android application. So you can check this out. And we already have one course there. Uh, nakaraang taon. And now we have a new one. We integrated the webinar into a short course so that you can get your e-certificate immediately after completion of your evaluation form. So, ayan. Madali na, opa, madali na lang ang ano natin, ang pag-generate ng ating e-certificate through our AI. Ayan na, na-apply na natin yung AI. So, next is we have the recapitulation of arts in the locality. So, these are the arts that can be found in the locality or um, specifically in the Bicol region. So, sir. Okay. You can um, check or you can visit the um, I Love Aral Facebook page para sa kung gusto nyo makita ang mga um, information about, um, um, about the specific arts in the locality. We have posted there for the um, different artworks from different places all, um, in the Bicol region. And Pietro Ragayano. Yeah. Calabanga Museum from Calabanga, Camarines Sur. 
Pintados from Central Bicol State University of Agriculture, Calabanga, from Calabanga Camarines Sur. Sorry. And ayan. So, siguro sir, meron pa tayo ditong iba. We also have Kanaman Church, Our Lady of Assumption Parish, Parish Church from Kanaman Camarines Sur. And we have um, Bakunawa and the Seven Moons from Kalabanga Museum. Hinurogan Shrine from Irigatam Sur. Pinta Asin Historia from Republic Cemetery Campo Camarines Sur. Nine. You can see the um, photos sa ating screen. And of course, we also have the Obra Masbateño from the rodeo capital of the Philippines, Masbate. Ayan. So we can really see how Bicol Non is really passionate about arts. So ayan. Kung gusto nyo po ng further information about sa ating um, arts in the locality, you can visit our Facebook page, I Love Aral. And of course, we also have featured some of the artists from the Bicol. We have Mom Renalyn Boribor from Sagnay, Camarines Sur, and Jules Ofenda from Libmanen, Camarines Sur. Yani. Kabi sana mag-visit ko ang mga places na yan <laughs> when I get back to the um, mainland Bicol. Nakakamis ang Kalabanga, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Nakakamis ang Kalabanga. Gusto ko sana mag-ikap ka, so limited lang yung time po namin dyan. Hoping na makabisit sa Kalabanga soon. <laughs> So, ayun. So, those are our arts and the locality. Up next is na, the Kalikasan Books. Ayun. The Kalikasan Books. These are um, collections of literary pieces, including poems and other artworks from the participa participants of the environmental poster, economic or eco-poetry and mobile photography contest here um, held during the first Kalabanga Enviro Contest in September 2022. And these are the official entries from students and teachers who joined the event. So we will release what is bound of the copies. So ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the Kalikasan books. And we actually have a digital copy of the Kalikasan book. They can access the copy through our I Love RL, I Love RL mobile app. Just check the library. And then in the library, you can check the Kalikasan book and you can download it if possible. So that's the Kalikasan book, Art for the Mother and the Nature. Right. And by the so way, we'll, we will be providing, we will be providing a printed copies of, I mean, printed copies of the Kalikasan book to uh, the people who were part of the first Kalabanga and Viral Contest. The participants, uh, I'm participant up to those partners and judges of the of the Enviro contest. Okay, so before we um come to our um, conclusion, um let us present to you the members of I Love Aral. So, eto po sila po ang bumubuo ng I Love Aral. Ayan. Ikaw na po ba, sir, mag introduce
we have members po from different um, provinces ng Bicol region. Ayan, may mga from Kamasur, Kamorte, Masbate. Ayan. Okay, to conclude this um, webinar, art is a universal, um, universal and can be found everywhere. But it is not only for you, and it is not only for the people who exercise work art, but for those who consume, who consume it. And if there were no art, we wouldn't even be able to see the beauty and things. Yan ang sinabi kanina ng isa sa ating mga viewers. So in other words, art helps us to feel relaxed and empowered. Once again, thank you so much to our magnificent, brilliant, and creative um, speakers, to our viewers also, and to the organizers of this webinar. Thank you so much po once again. Truly, ang dami ko pong natutunan sa ating mga speakers ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, to all art or to all artists out there, may you be may you are may you be right. You may you be a writer, a painter, a composer, whatever you are. But as long as you are an artist, hats off po ako sa iyo. So to all artists out there, keep your arts, keep your arts in the locality, learning connected. This has been your host. I am Brian Danao Lopez from Maspate, and I am going to say as my and, and in my ending conclusion, I'm saying Happy National Arts Month, everybody. So I am now um, um, handing over the floor to Sir James. Sir James. Thank you so much for 